So we just learned that the odds in favor of a king was 1 to 12. We don't want the odds against. We want the odds in favor for this formula. So therefore, the probability of a king should be A over A plus B. And this is your A and this is your B. The first number is your A. The second number is your B. So that means that we would have 1 over 1 plus 12. Well, what is 1 plus 12? 13. 1 over 13, which is correct. We already knew that. That's why I want to do this problem. So we got back to the probability of a king, which was 1 over 13. Okay, so taking a look at this problem, it has a chart that shows you the income distribution of households in millions. So, um, for example, the number of households that have an income of less than $10,000 a year is 14, but that means 14 million. Okay, so these numbers are already in millions. So what it wants you to do is find the probability that the household income is not in the 15,000 to 24,999 range. Okay, what was the key word that I just say, said? Not. Okay, let's see if it's letting me right here. Okay, so we're looking for not in this range. Now, there are two ways that you can do this now. You could add up all of the numbers that are not in that box, or you could just find the probability that you do get this first. So finding the probability that they are 15, in the 15,000 to almost 25,000 range, which means we look at this row only, and that's 5. And it already told you what the total was up here. It says it's the annual income of 84 million households. So you already know that's the total. If you added them all up, you should get 84. So 5 out of 84. So therefore, if I want to find the probability that it's not this, what would I do? Not flip. Subtract from 1. Okay, so the keyword not <coughs> says do 1 minus this probability. Now remember we learned a shortcut that we're always going to be taking the numerator from the denominator. So 84 minus 5 is 79, but you have to keep that same denominator of 84. So that was our shortcut. And then you have to see if 79 over 84 reduces, but I have a feeling it doesn't. Okay, so if you see the keyword not, that means you can find the probability that it does happen and subtract that probability from 1 as your shortcut. Now, sometimes there aren't two ways. That's the only way you can find it because they didn't give you any other information to do it. So you have to take the probability of that it happens and subtract it from 1. All right, let's see if we're right here. So... 79 over 84, nice work. Okay, you randomly select one card from a 52 card deck. Find the probability selecting the two of diamonds or the king of hearts. What's the key word in this problem? Or. Okay, so whenever you see an or problem, you have to ask yourself, is it possible for these two things to happen at the same time? No is correct. So, you know, so you're saying, can I draw one card and get a two of diamonds and a king of hearts at the same time? No. So therefore, you are just adding your two probabilities. You don't have to worry about also subtracting. So the probability of a two of diamonds or a king of hearts means we're just finding the probability of a two of diamonds plus the probability of a king of hearts. Okay, what is the probability of selecting a two of diamonds? One out of 52, there's only one two of diamonds in the deck. What's the probability of selecting a king of hearts? Also one out of 52. 
So adding, you get 2 out of 52. Does that reduce? Okay, 1 over 26. Okay, so 1 over 26. Good job. Okay, so the table shows the educational attainment of the population of Mars, ages 25 and over, expressed in millions. Okay, so apparently they take a census there as well. All right, find the probability that a randomly selected Martian, aged 25 and over, has not completed four years or more of college. Okay, what's the key word in this problem? Not. Good. All right, so the shortest way to do this is to first find the probability that they did complete four years or more of college, and then do what with that answer? Subtractive, Subtractive from one. Good. So the totals have already been done in this chart. You guys have noticed in the other sections it's not always totaled up for you. You have to sometimes work that out. So take a minute, look at those numbers. Okay, just look. Okay, so the probability that they have completed four years or more of college. And what did you find? 160. Well, 160 is the total. How many have completed four or more years of college? 39. Okay, 39. So you got 39 out of a total of 160. Okay, so the probability that they have not completed four more four or more years of college is one minus this. But again, the shortcut remember is just to take 39 from 160. So what do you get? 121 over 160. Does that reduce? This is where it, it becomes of value to have a calculator that does it for you for time's sake. But again, you can just try a few numbers. Well, it just depends on your calculator. So that's not something that I show because every calculator is different. Plus, you're supposed to have the skill of reducing a fraction in here. I'm going to say that it does not reduce. And here's why I think it doesn't reduce. I'm taking a look at 160, and I see that that's divisible by 2. It's divisible by 5. Um, any, any multiples, you know, there are multiples of 2 that it's divisible by, like it's divisible by um, 4, and it's also divisible by 10, and so on, okay? But if I look at 121, that's not divisible by 2, and it's also not divisible by 5, and so I'm guessing that, you know, if I actually work this out, I could, you know, I could test this out. And you, in your calculator, you could do 121 divided by, you know, whatever. But, um, but so on. It, you know, one and if you know 121, you know what the multiples of 121 are. 11, right? 11 times 11 is 121. So if that's the only factor of 121 other than itself, 11 does not go into 160. And so you know it's not reducible, okay? There are some little things that if you, you know, just really focus on the numbers, you could, you could do that in your head rather quickly. All right, so you've got 121 over 160. Well done. Okay, now it says same, same information. The numbers have changed, though. But what's the probability that... The selected Martian, age, eight, age 25 and over, has completed four years of high school only or is a male. So has completed four years of high school only or is a male. So what's the key word here? Yeah. Or. And is it possible that they have completed four years of high school only and be a male at the same time? Yes, so these are not mutually exclusive. Okay, so the probability of 
high school only or a male means we're looking for the probability of high school only plus the probability of being a male but because it's possible that it can happen at the same time we throw in that minus the probability of both okay so what's the probability that you select a Martian that has had four years of high school only okay 60 the total here remember this is just high school it has nothing to do with being a male here so 60 over the total 172 okay then the probability that the Martian you've selected is male any male doesn't matter this one only focuses on being male doesn't focus on their education yeah which it's already been done for you so yeah so 83 and so you have 83 over a total of 172 minus the probability that it's both a male and only finished four years of high school okay so that's where you go for the 28 right so this is the number of males that have four years of high school only 28 over the total 172 okay any questions where we got those three numbers from all right add and then subtract 115 over 172 okay does that reduce okay so I'm gonna say that that is as reduced as possible and so 115 over 172 any questions before it disappears okay so Carol speaks for all of you so I'm gonna put it all in there all right so 115 over 172 right that's what we had well done all right so here you have a um, bar graph of active duty military personnel the purple columns are showing the men and the pink columns are showing the women and then it's divided by branch of service Navy Air Force Army Marines and so it shows you how many men or women are in the Navy or how many men or women are in the Air Force and so on in thousands so it says find the odds in favor and the odds against that the person being that that person being a man in the army okay so if you select somebody at random you're finding the odds in favor first of selecting a person that's a man in the army all right so looking at here we're looking at odds in favor so this means that we're looking for the probability that it's a man in the army over the probability that it's not a man in the army okay so finding the probability of a man in the army what do we have to do yeah you gotta add what all of it good because you have to find out what the total population is here in order to find the probability of something okay so we're adding 320 plus 80 which is 400 plus 300 is 700 plus 10 is 710 plus 420 so that would give us let's see 730 and then another 4 is 1130 plus 60 is 1190 plus 170 okay so I heard 1360 okay so then plus the 70 is we'll say it again 1430 okay so now that we have the total population we want just a man in the army so how many men are in the army 
Okay, 420 over the total 1430. Now that can reduce. I know right away because they both end in a zero. Okay, so if you want, you can cancel out the zero. I don't know if it reduces any further. But I'm going to say it doesn't. So, um, all right, so if this is the probability that you've selected a man in the Army, now we have to find the probability that you don't select a man in the, in the Army. So what do we do with this 42 over 143? Subtract it from 1. Good. So 1 minus 42 over 143. Okay, 101 over 143. Well, we haven't finished this one yet. Okay. So now that we have our probabilities in place, this is really the same as 42 over 143 divided by 101 over 143. But again, most of you guys are going to see this pattern and just skip to the next step of 42 over 143 times 143 over 101, because you're multiplying by the reciprocal there. Okay, so what happens to the 143s? They cancel, and we have 42 over 101. Okay, so notice this time, instead of the word 2, they have the colon. So they want you to put the numerator in the first box, colon, the, the, numerator, uh, the, the denominator in the second box. Typing in 42 was our numerator, right? And then 101. Whoops, 101. Nice work. Okay, so now the odds against. Good, reverse the number. So 101 to 42. Well done. Okay, if you, give it, if you are given odds of 2 to 3 in favor of winning a bet, what is the probability of winning the bet? Okay, so this time you're given odds and you need to find probability. So what was the formula for that? Yes, the A over A plus B. Good. We're, and were we given odds in favor? Yes, because that's what we need for this formula. So the first number is your A, and the second number is your B. So odds of 2 to 3 means that we plug in 2 over 2 plus 3, and that gives us 2 over 5. So the probability of winning the bet is 2 over 5, where the odds are 2 to 3. There are going to be a couple of problems where it asks you to take that formula just a little step further, you know, maybe has you think of it in a different way. So just, you know, start from that process and work your way there. All right, so that covers section 11.6.